everybody, and welcome to Ozarks Live. Hope you're having a good day. Are you? Yeah. Good. I'm good. I'm still spending more on food than medicine, so yeah. that's a good, you know, barometer to live by. Me too. Mm -hmm. I've always heard that. You spend more on food than medicine, you spend more on booze than medicine. All is right with the world. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's Am true. Am I right? Of course I'm right. You can put a whole lot of things on that list. A whole lot of things on that list. Uh -huh. Hey, by the way, uh -huh. Um, you know, our organization expert, Betsy Miller, who comes on this show from time to time, look at him grinning. She was, she came in this morning yeah. and we're, we're, we can't show you just yet, but let me just say it feels really good to be a little bit better organized. Don't you agree? Yeah. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> it's when you start going, oh, now I know where everything is. You start feeling better automatically. You know, it feels like you're you're gonna go. What do you think, Mom? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. Oh, I'm proud of you. You finally cleaned that up, kind well, of thing. Well, it was a big day around here. Yeah, you know, and we're gonna show you kind of what we've done around here and what you can do at home as well. But, like Tom said, it's amazing what. Um, what a difference it makes to know where things are in the kitchen and to know where things are where you don't have to run down a hallway to go get them. Right. So, and my favorite part of the whole thing was when she said, get out, leave. Uh -huh. I'm going to do this. I can do that. I yeah. can leave. I can leave you alone and let you oh, like go right to town. You know? I didn't even have to walk in to say hi. I would have been fine there too. Yeah. No, that was something. Anyway, we're going to yeah. show you that in a couple of days. But man, I mean, you know, it was really, it's refreshing. It just makes you feel better. I guess it's part of it is spring cleaning, as yeah. we should it, all do. It, it you know? kind of is. Yeah. But we've, it's, we've left off a few springs uh, leading up to this point. Yeah, springs cleaning is what we're uh -huh, having to do. Uh -huh. By the way, thank you very much to Linda's Flowers for the beautiful arrangement that we have. As always, brightens up the set like yeah. nobody's business. Bird of Paradise. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty. Very pretty. I like those, yeah. yeah they I always do too. bring something nice. I do too. What's going on with you? Anything exciting? Uh, I'm like a day closer to the weekend. Uh huh. That's always, you know, it. you start feeling it. And the sun came out this afternoon? Yes. Went and had a beautiful lunch today. Village oh. Inn. It's free pie day, by the way. Oh, that Yes, it's always a good day when it's free pie. Yeah, day. and it's a miracle I'm awake because after a great big, <laughs> great big honking lunch and then a big piece of coconut cream pie and a cup of coffee, it's are you getting it's a wonder I'm out of sleep right now? I, well, it's probably because you're chilly, right? Mm -hmm, that's yeah. it. Yeah, I knew it. If it were warmer, I'd be out. The, you would. The waiter came over and he was delightfully said, Can I get you anything else? I said, A nap. Mm -hmm. Please, I need a nap. Oh my goodness, that was good. Well, good yeah. for you. Free pie day, man. I just had breakfast. I didn't do any lunch today. Well, that's. I'm my, gonna make up for that it might later. Be your dinner. Don't kid you never yourself. Know. I'm just saying, yeah. So it's yeah. been a good day. We got all organized, got fed. <laughs> Life is good. <laughs> yeah. And we've got a great show for you this afternoon. Malia Spencer is back from the kitchen. Absolutely, and we're going to tell you all about something called Corks and Kegs. It's a big event happening this weekend. You're going to want to be a part of that. But before we get to it, we would love to show you what is on our radar. Some news out of the world of travel and beauty. Okay, word that Virgin Atlantic, the airline, has officially right. announced female flight attendants are no longer required to wear makeup on the job. I think that's wonderful for them. This news came this I, week. I don't have to wear it. Why should they? Well, you know, women have to start early to sure. put on all of the required business and get the hair mm. just right. Uh, but it has to be a relief to the female employees of this airline who, again, they were required to add a good half hour at minimum probably to their daily routine to meet yeah. the cosmetic requirements or suggestions. Apparently, uh, the grooming policy was in need of a makeover. You okay. see where I'm going? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. According to courts, employees were encouraged uh, when applying makeup on the job to maintain a red lip that suited their skin tone. Okay. Mm. Uh, bronze cheeks and an updo that was lacquered in place with lots of hairspray to the degree that it would survive any long flight. I mean, you got to hand it to them. They all look great. Well, sure. Right? Sure. Um, but I was reading up on this very interesting. I found an article in the online magazine TTG had a whole interview with the styling team for these folks. Virgin Atlantic will also supply female flight attendants with pants and not just skirts because they were always encouraged to wear a skirt. And a pants did not come as part of the uniform. You had to ask for that. But wow. I know. So they're getting out of the 1950s and 60s is what they're doing. They finally are. I noticed I notice there was a guy in that lineup there. Uh -huh. I wonder if he had to keep his lips the suitable red to match his 
Uh, no, but they they got, you know, they were warned against the stubble, and everybody oh, needs sure. to be neatly groomed, which I completely understand that. I agree with that. Yeah, you know, you want to... You everybody, are at work. Yes, you are at work, and you want to look nice, but mm -hmm. I think that was nice of them to say, you know what, it's not required. I mean, what if you're the type that really didn't wear makeup, and then you really wanted to do the job? I guess you'd have to go to the styling team, and they would do it, but... I suppose. Either way, they, the, the folks look great, but you know what, they're going to be just fine. They're going to be just fine. Plane takes off, it flies, it lands. I'm happy. I'm happy too. Yeah. You yeah, get me yeah. there safe, and I'm good. Yeah. Okay. All right. What have you got? You got something really unusual today. It is. I know you love to travel, I and do. you love the unusual uh -huh. and unique. Okay. Well, here's a place for you to visit, and you won't even waste a single frequent flyer mile. I like that. You like that. Missouri's own Nuclear Waste Adventure Trail and Interpretive Center. Yep, you heard what? that right. Yeah, just head towards St. Louis on 44. Take a left at Eureka. You know, that's right around Six Flags up there. And then it's just a hop, skip, and a jump to Weldon, Missouri to have your own fun with fallout. <laughs> right. The site is 40 million cubic feet of hazardous waste entombed to create a mountain that in the 1940s was home of the nation's largest explosive factory, turning out more than 700 million tons of TNT during its heyday, during Second World War, the 40s, and then in the 50s, radioactive uranium was processed there, with the nearby Weldon Spring Quarry being used as a dump site for uranium, thorium, and radium. Mm -hmm. Finally, in now the it's 80s. just a big playground? It, that's basically <laughs> it. In the 80s, the EPA decided to put a 45-acre cap on the waste area and invite the public to walk all over it. Not only can you climb this mountain here, you can take in the Weldon Spring Interpretive Center housed in a building once used to check workers for radioactivity, which serves as a museum educating visitors about the site. And in case you're wondering, no, you won't glow in the dark after your visit. You're sure you didn't find this on the onion? No, it was not on the, <laughs> it onion. Not the onion. It was not on the onion. I, I did. It, it was like some of those unusual places to vi visit around the United States. Okay, all right. It I'm has a website. So I, I checked to make sure yeah. this is not, you know, a, a phony travel thing. It's really there. Just another reason to visit the Show Me State. And, and, you know, reading up on it, the people who kind of work there and anything, they say from the top of the mountain, which has, you know, plaques telling you where things are and what things are, but you can see, like, into four counties, you can see the arch in St. Louis. Really? Yeah, mm. so it's not just a little bump or anything. you you got to climb for a little while. Yeah, this is, there's a road trip for you. Yeah, really, that. yeah, let's all go get radioactive. Frolic on the <laughs> No, they say you don't, you don't get side. radioactive. You don't glow in the dark. You know, you, you can't cook a steak by holding it in your hand. I guess anything. not. No. None says you couldn't try that. But see, it, it saves you on your frequent flyer. Boy, mode. it sure does. Mm -hmm. Man, who, I had no <laughs> idea we had that. All right, I got something to make you really ready for summer. Oh. You ready? Uh -huh. Okay, Natural Light, the beer, okay, is introducing a brand new beer. You ready? Okay. Okay. Think summer. Think spring break. Strawberry lemonade beer. <laughs> I know. Okay, now hang on a minute. What? It, it's called Natter Days. Yeah. Right? Okay. It is bridges like it sounds with strawberry and lemonade flavors. Okay? It's very girly. But there's more. Just hang on. Hold with me here for just oh, a second. Okay. The pink and yellow ombre cans scream spring break, if you ask me. I think oh, they do. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of eager to try this. I'll be honest. I'm really? a beer snob. Uh huh. Yeah. But I'm pretty pumped about this, honestly. I've seen some reviews. I watched a couple online today, and even the dudes seem to love this. They say, Honestly, though, it does not taste really like a beer. It tastes more like a strawberry lemonade, okay? Yeah. Apparently, it's really light. It's very refreshing. It has a lower alcohol content, like a 4.2, and I think a session is yeah. usually like five. Yeah. So this is kind of nice because it's even got less of an alcohol content to it, but I was going to go out this afternoon and try to find a sub, and I will do that. Why don't you just get strawberry lemonade? Why, why don't you want to try this? You'll try it. I'll try. Oh, yes, I will. Because I want that is okay. why. All I right. could get strawberry lemonade. I think people are blown away that this is actually really good. 
Because a lot of the beer drinkers were like, look, y'all know. I mean, this is no. Yeah. This is not my thing. But apparently it's being way better received than a lot of people, and I'll be the judge of I that. I mean, I will try it too, but I mean, I, you like IPAs and things like this. does not strike me as anything close to no, an IPA. I think it's going to be so completely different. But you know me, a regular light beer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have just about anything That's, in the world. You'd rather have strawberry lemonade. Beer. I'd rather have strawberry there lemonade. I'd really rather have a glass of water than just a typical light beer. Uh -huh. Not my jam. Yeah. This, on the other hand, is is very, very much completely different. So it's for the people who really don't drink beer, but they want to have something. Yeah, but yet you said the beer drinkers said it was good. Everything that I've seen about it says, oh, right. this is so. Anyway, I'm gonna. It's we'll have the to try last some. Thing I do. I'm going to track some down. I'm All super right. excited. All right. So, yeah. Now, this week at the Geneva Motor Show in Switzerland, oh. Volkswagen is unveiling a couple of zero emission ways to get around cities. The city skater for that last, you know, bit into work and the street mate, a faster, rangier scooter for those longer treks. The city skater looks like a regular old scooter, but to ride it you stand in the opposite direction from what you might think. Straddling the control rod with the single wheel at your heels, it can reach speeds uh, about 12 miles per hour with a distance of nine miles on a full charge. Plus, it folds up so you can hide it under your desk when you get to work. Oh, so it looks like you're riding it backward. Kevin. It does, that's okay. exactly what it is. But here's the other one. The street mate will pull you along at 28 miles uh, per hour for about 21 miles. And you can ride it sitting like, like it shows there, or you take that seat off and you ride it standing up. It incorporates a weather and waterproof display in the middle of the handlebars, which can be connected to a smartphone for navigation, while the accompanying app works like a digital key to start the scooter and triggers an alarm if someone who shouldn't tries to start it. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's another innovation from mm -hmm. the folks that brought us Farfik Nugent. <laughs> Farfik Nugent. I hadn't heard that in a long time. Farfik Nugent. It's, it's, it's German for pleasant driving, happy driving. Farfik Nugent. But these are in Geneva. They are right now. Okay. But, you know, this is just, they're, they're going to show it at, at the show, and they're talking, you know, in different areas about bringing it public mm -hmm. as soon as they can. Looks good to me. Looks like fun. Yeah. All right. Lots more coming up today. It is time to shop at Harder House, and guess what? You can help the kitchen at the same time. Don't go away. Ozarks Live is just getting started.